We had it all, the prizes of a successful voyage, when our luck turned. Oh, Kraken! Jesus, man! The Kraken had risen from the depths and attacked our ship. Sloop is coming, by the way. An enemy vessel had been tracking us and used this moment to strike while we were in distress. The deck was beset by the grasping tendrils of the Kraken. We fought them back as best we could. Our enemies entered our broadside. We fired. Get him. Get him. He's on board. Right behind you. Sounds of battle surrounded me as I drifted into the abyss. But let's begin at the start of this tale, when I had just awoken in a dimly lit tavern on a remote island. Hello? Uh. I was playing in an open crew, so the game matched me with another random player, and he was experienced, a pirate legend. I had a feeling this adventure today would be something special. You ever been to the pirate legend cave? Uh... I think I've seen it once. My new crewmate began playing his accordion and opened up the hidden entrance to the pirate legend cave. We headed down and started chatting about our plans. Trying to look up these ghost ships. The new, like, haunted event. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Do you think you could help me do it? Oh, hell yeah, bro. It's like the best way to make money and experience right now by far. Now, I had not yet done the Flameheart Ghost Ship event, which had been added to the game somewhat recently. And he had done it multiple times, so I would have a competent guide to help me with this mission. I'm gonna see if there's one in the sky. If not, we might have to hop servers. Okay. We exited the cave and headed out of the tavern to check for the telltale ghostly cloud. Oh, there's we one. I luck. see it. Epic! And there was the red skull in the sky, signifying the ghostly fleet's presence. To start off, we stocked up on supplies around the island. The Wait. ships that you destroy will actually restock your, uh, wood animal. Well, they got. drop these ghostly storage crates. My crewmate explained to me some basic details of the event. Howdy there! I ran over to our two-man sloop and started putting away the supplies I gathered. Next, we raised an emissary flag. This would give us a greater return on all the treasure we found, but also make us much more visible on the map. A risky trade-off. We should be good, uh, as ready as we can be. We put away another load of supplies and readied our ship for the voyage. Well, the small ghost ships only take three hits, so they're pretty easy. Now the naval battle with Flameheart's ghostly fleet required us to take down multiple waves of his phantom galleons. After that, far more dangerous captain's galleons would spawn, and finally, after we sank a few of those, his very powerful flagship would appear. Victory could only be achieved once we sank that formidable vessel. But the last wave will also include Flameheart. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to clap whoever. As we neared the island where the fleet was circling, the skull loomed over us. Taking out this big boy. Look at this heckin' skelly, cheeky boy. Heck this guy! How rude. Oh yeah, those are spooky. I saw that there's also, they give you special cannonballs that are, they look like megalodon bites. Yeah, two, two ghost ships. We hadn't seen any other players as we'd approached. Hopefully it was clear for now. <laughs> oh! Do it. Stand against me. Do you believe that you are more deserving? This dude's about to get his booty clapped. It's a lot of boats. As the skull in the sky started his ominous monologue, the skeleton fleet circled the island close by, propelled by otherworldly winds. Oh, I slipped off and caught my caught myself, so we're good. Ah, oh. Welcome back. Boom. Holy oh, shit! Son of a bitch got a hit. No way. Sniped us. As dawn was breaking, we engaged our first skeleton ship. Oh, this one on the right, maybe? Uh, you're a little high, I think. Oh, that boy's coming for us. He wants it. Nice. Clap! One down. Now was my turn. Aim about a little less than halfway up the cells. Two down, and lots to go. Oh, that's gonna hit us. Nope, little high. Incoming! Yep, that's gonna hit us. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm repairing the mast. We're good. What a snipe. Pure luck. We unleashed many cannonballs and destroyed numerous more galleons in the fleet. We also sustained a fair bit of damage. Uh oh! Oh, that's gonna be bad. I'll get that's it. That's bad. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh no, we only got two holes. Oh, okay, now we got three. I'm fine. Those ones, those ones freaking 
usually put like three holes in the boat. Now after some time, the first captain spawned. Time to send it back to the depths. On the left side. Oh, yep, yep. The glass and glow. <laughs> Alright, that was like an eight. Oh, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. Coming back on, coming back on. I'm on the ladder, coming up. Well done. I fired a volley of cannons into the captain's galleon, but it was still afloat. On repairs. Yeah, it's almost down. I'm gonna circle the island. We're gonna have to pass the other boat first. We are kinda lowish on wood now, though. But all these repairs had drained our supplies. We needed more planks. We have to repair the ship. Harpoon the bad boy. I saw some floating barrels in the water and harpooned them onto the boat. No! Yoink! 30 wood! <laughs> Exactly what we needed. Yep. Now to get back to work battling these captains. Nice. All right, we got it. Yet. Yet. We sank our first captain, and it dropped some loot, so we sailed over to where it had been destroyed and harpooned the chests onto our boat. That's the storage crate. That'll resupply us. We got all the loot on our deck and got back to it. The next captain was approaching. Time to take on our second adversary. The main boss, which drops about yeah, three times more loot than those do. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Your supplies must be dwindling by now. That's where you're wrong. Supplies at the ready. Cannons, people. <laughs> Your weapons are well done. Get ready on repairs. I'll go ahead and finish it off on the other side. Oh, cool. I'm on repairs. Crewmate finished the second captain while I repaired the heavy damage we sustained. Got it. He's down. He's like literally underneath us. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> okay. Got all the loot. We're good. I continued bailing out water while my friend harpooned all the loot onto our boat. And that's when things began to take a turn. I'm actually going to sail away from the boats for a second because not only is there a fire and ships coming, but I also see a player in this distance. All right. There was another sloop on the horizon. Not good. Oh, yeah. It's another sloop. All right, I got it, I got it. Fire's out. Ooh! That one went right over. While beginning to disengage from the ghost ships, we saw a different sloop in the distance as well. There were a number of ships circling quite far away. We were in a precarious spot. Probably had to an outpost, put all of our stuff. But see, we were just one island over from Golden Sands Outpost. So with all these ships menacingly circling, we decided to head over there and sell off all the treasure we'd already collected. And we could just come back and pick up where we left off, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Golden Sands, you said? Oh, cool, we're not far. As we neared the outpost, we chatted about searching for an explosive barrel so we could board and then quickly sink other players. But since we were talking in-game and other players could also hear us, we would need a code word. Just say Big Red or something. Big Red. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get Big Red. Well, no, no, that's too easy. That's we approached the island as the morning sun just began to glimmer. I headed ashore to start selling all the treasure. What if we say, um, eating a pineapple? Eating a pineapple is like, go boom them. Oh, looks like they're turning. She's a witch! We handed in all the loot and consolidated our supplies. We were well stocked for any fight. So they are, uh, sails down They're anchored. just sitting out there. Yeah, I saw closest. Two islands. Oh, Reaper 4! Holy! The sloop we'd seen was a level 4 Reaper's emissary. This meant that they were likely experienced PvP pirates. I'm sure they're gonna come for us. A Reaper 4? Yeah, they're coming. They're probably headed towards the skull, not necessarily us. Cool, cool. I'm gonna take a peek. I can catch a mermaid if you want to start moving. So they might be... If we go that be... far south, it gives them an opportunity to knock out the uh, mission. Yeah... Yeah, we gotta get a TNT barrel if we're gonna knock out a larger group than us. Okay, uh, hun, sounds good. The wife? Yeah. Knowledge! Yeah, they're definitely the at the skull well right gone. now. After some more scouting on the island, I caught a mermaid back to the ship to continue fighting the Phantom Fleet. Uh, yeah, they're... No, they're at the fort also, the sloop at the fort. There's a boat right here. And it's got a TNT barrel on it. Oh, yes. There was a rowboat in the middle of the ocean here. Uh, mermaid. This was odd. Okay, that means there's a person. I'm gonna grab this boat. Something was up. I could feel it. Oh, so many TNT barrels. Who goes there? This is exactly Guy what here, we needed. on the boat, on the boat, guy on the boat. 
He's on off the side. Hit him. Hit him. Dead. No, 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 no. Uh, get anchor up. This looked like some kind of ambush by the Reaper sloop. I got the Reaper. robo. All right, Reaper's coming in. Yeah, we need to take off. The enemy ship was racing towards us. Oh, no. That's dumb. Do you want to go eat a pineapple? Can't. Okay. Oh! I'm off the boat. Off the boat. I got a merm. Now back on the ship, I had to quickly move the explosive barrels from where they were vulnerable to being shot on the back to the far safer crow's nest. Hit one. I'm gonna grab a pineapple. Okay. Eat it up, sir. Yeah, they went wide. So they just no got skelly, they got skelly. A skeleton sloop had emerged from the ocean and attacked them. Our enemy was within cannon range of us. I began the barrage from our broadside as they closed in. With both ships sustaining damage, I repaired while we turned back to engage them. Failing. I don't know. The enemy sloop was coming by us on a near pass. Nice. That was slick. Let's go. Run. They're. <laughs> <laughs> they got massive holes. Nice. Go after them. My friend had jumped off our boat on a their ladder and ignited an explosive barrel. What a move. Yeah, I put it right below deck. Beautiful. They got at least six holes in them. I turned back towards them to finish the job. The skeleton sloop was still fighting us both. Georgia's nope. open, it's coming back in. Oh, dude, a sleeping ball. I just got hit with a sleep ball. A cursed cannonball that forces you to sleep if it hits your ship. This was bad timing. I hopped towards their boat to keep applying pressure. Uh, repairs are actually not bad. They're trying to hit us with uh, fire bombs. One dead on their boat. Ah, uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I died. I'd been a major impediment as they tried to repair. Hopefully I'd done enough. One of them was dead. He's gonna have to pick his friend up. As soon as you get back, focus repairs. Coming back right now. On repairs. Oh, they're both sink. They're sink. <laughs> oh, they sank? <laughs> hey! We just gotta survive now. Yep. Where is he? Down below. Bring you up. You're up. Oh. Nice, nice. He's dead. Uh, Enjoy the loot, boys. GG's Don't die. Thank you. Yar. Yar, mate. <laughs> After a good fight, the other ship conceded. We bested them in an exciting battle. No! God oh, sleep damn. all again. Oh I keep my god. Doing this. <laughs> oh, we should start worrying out. about their loot. You know they where sunk they right in front of us. Okay. Focus on repairs. Yeah, I see all the right. loot. Getting some holes in them. We now went to finish off the skeleton sloop. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit over here. I repaired our ship as the skeleton sloop slipped below the waves. I think I sunk the skelly. Yeah, it must have sunk. With the other players in the skeleton ship at the bottom of the ocean, we went to grab all the treasure that dropped from both. Doesn't look like anyone's doing the fleet right now. We're also right next to Golden Sands. We could just sell stuff and then head back in. Works for me. So we went to sell off our spoils before once again returning to face Flameheart. This distraction had proven profitable. Oop, I got a little close. Oh, good. Just a little love tap. Just go start handing stuff in, I guess. One reason why I love keeping a ghostly storage crate, infinite storage. I sold off all the treasure we'd obtained and then set course to return to the island over which the skull loomed. We navigated back towards Flameheart as the shadows lengthened. Night was falling. Oh, somebody was over here, because it's on the captains now. But there's nobody here, which means they probably got destroyed by the captains. Yeah. Wonder if anyone will come back. Doubtful. When I get sunk, I Most send... Most people aren't that persistent. 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 <laughs>
I think it's my gamer pride. I get beaten, I send it back. I will send it back. I'm gonna go for a lob. We maneuvered towards the final captain to sink it so we could loot it before fighting Flameheart. Uh, am, I, am I low? Oh, no, I'm good. Nice. Cells now. A little weird. More hits. Well, I'm out of cannons, I'm out of cannons. I'm, I'm on repairs. We sunk the captain as I frantically worked on repairs. It was literally one hit. Oh, yep, there it goes. All right, final boss is the last one. All right. We harpooned up the captain's loot and then shifted our focus to Flameheart's flagship. How could you still be alive? He's getting a little shook. Hold up. Something ain't back. Yep. Uh oh, Megalodon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was, we're going to need a bigger boat. The flagship approached to the cannons. Crap, he's trying to get angle on us. He's gonna make this a pain in the ass. Oh no, don't hit the mech! Oh god! Oh! oh hey! Well, those other guys must have weakened the hell out of it. <laughs> it only took three hits. Yeah. It only took a few shots to kill Flameheart. Whoever else had been fighting it had done a lot of damage. Look at those spooky boys. That is a fat, honking chunk of loot. We quickly grabbed up all the loot from the water. Other players would notice that the skull in the sky had disappeared. Ooh, that Meg is unhappy. We needed to get to an outpost and sell off all this treasure before anything bad happened. We need to head north. Got two golden sands. Oops, loop on the horizon! Now my friend mentioned that there were special cannonballs that the flagship dropped in one of the supply crates. Grab the ones with the skull on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. We had a lot of loot here. Great, right. Oh, I'm off the boat! I'm off Megalodon. the boat! Megalodon! Yeah, bastard! I'm off the boat! Those guys are coming. The Megalodon had decided to attack us, and there was a sloop moving on us. This was getting dicey. As we fled the other sloop, a new threat emerged. Oh, Kraken! Uh, we just need to get out of it. Stay underground so they don't suck you up. Yep, he's sucking real hard. Sloop is coming, by the way. Uh oh. Getting the back. They're waiting. They're waiting outside water. of it. Water! Water! The players on the other ship were shooting over to us to further hinder our escape. What about the water? And he's coming up. Oh, he's trying to suck us up. Dead. Guy dead. Guy, guy boarded. He's dead. They're turning to try again. They're gonna keep launching. One okay. wrap. We gotta get this one off. Okay. The Kraken was viciously attacking us. I repaired as we tried desperately to escape its clutches. We're almost out. Player on board. Just jump back in the water. <laughs> killed himself. Nice. Oh, we got wrapped again. He's right in front of us. They went all the way around, bro. We were fighting for our lives. While we dealt with the Kraken, the sloop had maneuvered around and blocked our escape. This was very bad. They're smacking the shit out of us. Still got those cannonballs. Yep. Turn slightly. I didn't quite have the angle to hit them. I was so close. Get him. Get him. He's on board. Right behind you. This might be a rip. Nope, nope. We'd sunk. Everything combined had devastated us. But I never give up. Like I said, it must be my gamer pride. How we doing, her? Uh, we sunk, I'm fighting. We sunk, one of them's dead. At this point, it was all about delaying. My friend would have spawned with a new boat quite far away. I had to buy time so that he could return before they were able to grab all our treasure and escape the area. Figure out even where we were. There was no one on their boat right now. Likely both dead, I dropped the anchor and ran to the map. Yeah. Uh, that, Plunder uh, Valley. I knew exactly where we had sank now. Crucial information. Dude, we're on the other side of the fucking map. Wind's going north in Thunder Valleys of the South. Ah. 
Uh, I died. I'm coming back. I died, but I'd at least slowed their progress. Now it was a race against time. I'll aim the boat that way and start going, but we are completely against the wind on the other side of the mountain. The chances of us bringing this back were slim to none, but we had to try. I believe. Our boat was going south against the wind. Our next move would have to be strategic. They'd go either plunder or golden sands. See, they could go to sell at plunder outpost, golden sands outpost, or the reaper's hideout. We headed towards the open ocean between all three so that we could adjust as needed. Let's south real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might be able to catch visual. Of course, it's gonna be foggy on top of everything. Oh, I think I see them. Maybe south southwest. As we approached, I finally caught sight of them. They're headed towards Golden. All right. Bell's on the right side. We'll be able to intercept them before yep. they hit. Where are they going? Oh, what outpost would they be heading to? Oh, I bet you they're heading to Reapers. Oh yeah. The first flickers of morning light were in the sky, and we were closing in on them. They were beelining for the Reapers' hideout. They are booking it for Reavers. Now the Wraith Balls from Flameheart were still in my inventory since I'd grabbed them before we sank. The island and the other sloop were close in front of us. Just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. I have the wind. Here, you take two, you take two. We split up our Wraith Balls. These powerful cursed cannonballs were going to give us our only real shot at clawing back a victory. Ready on the left side, Cannon. I'm in position. Take the shot when you're ready. Yeah, I see all the loot in the back. All you gotta do is smack the boat off the back. I had one shot here. I had to hit it. Beautiful. I shot ashore. Now was the time to fight. A lot of people here. As I fired on our enemies who had taken so much from us, my crewmate laid into their sloop with cannons. There's some. We'd sunk them and our loot was here, but our enemies were still on the island. This wasn't over yet. We just gotta make sure that they die. <laughs> There were random players here unrelated to our fight, likely just opportunists. One dead. Right, we'll turn this shit in here. Hit him. What do you mean? You got me. Hey, good try though. They were taunting us now, but their boat had sunk, and they'd only had time to hand in about one piece of treasure each. The lion's share was still up for grabs. One's dead. Woo, boy! Have some more of them cookies! The boy? Oh, they want to start a fight! There was a different sloop here now that had probably seen the commotion and come to see if they could get some loot out of it. I darted over to assist my friend with this new contender. One's down. On repairs. Got him. Killed his friend again. They're going down hard, though. Focused on putting holes in them. My crewmate had this well under control. One of our original enemies was still lurking on the island and it seized this moment to hand in another chest. I went back to shore to put a stop to that once and for all. These guys are sunk. Uh, push to the island, man. Reapers, main room. Guys here. All right. We got fire all over our boat. Still alive or are you dead? Yeah, I'm good. On my way. Woo! Sit down, big fella! He's dead. I'd taken out our last foe. We could finally take a moment to breathe. You got him? Yeah. Alright. We gotta we gotta get this loot back. I sucked the guys out there, so we're good. I gathered up all the remaining treasure from where our enemy had sunk. Handing in our first piece of treasure. It felt good. Whew, I did not think we were going to be able to pull that back. Me neither. 
<laughs> or was there yep. more in the rowboat? There's even more that I didn't see. Oh, we're getting money. We handed in our fortune of chests, skulls, and crates. Our perseverance had paid off. Check it out. Oh, we got all our stuff back! Ooh, I'm gonna have a celebratory yeah. fish. Oh, they had an ammo crate, too. Might oh, have to take it. a quick break. I just gotta eat with the fams for a minute. Family. It's been, uh, it's been good. Heck yeah, keep me at it, bro. Um, I play a lot, so... Epic. Now my friend had to head out. It had been a tumultuous yet ultimately successful voyage. We gotta do some repairs and then uh, get out of here. Now hanging out with my stream, I goofed off as I sailed across the now tranquil seas. Play the lick. This is plun. This is an outpost. I hopped onto a verdant outpost island and a brand new player joined my crew. Whoop. Hello. I'm gonna give back. Hello? Hey, hello? Different guy. Hey, you want this loot, gamer? Now I still had the phantom loot crate loaded with supplies. How's it going there? Can Dude. you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Push the talk. <laughs> you just gave me that loot? Yep, that's all you, that's all you, gamer. Alright, where are we going? Uh, I'm, I need to go very far away, but you enjoy that. There's a lot of yoinks in there, and, and they're all yours. Alright, thanks. I'll give you a crab dab. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm live streaming on my Twitch right now. The link is below. Come say hi. And go follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, and follow my thumbnail artist too. All the links are below in the description. This has been your friend Wellen, ending another tale of swashbuckling deeds. I'll see you next time.